Okay, so this is a question. How long should I cancel a belief for and when do I stop? Well, the cancelling of beliefs or God did not create it and so it is not real. I call it a, it's a tool for ach achieving total transcendence of the thing that is currently being identified with. It can be used on its own without self-inquiry or any other lessons. Um, and um, so they're both essentially the same thing. You're essentially, uh, you could say, I mean, you have to use language, invoking the disappearance of that thing until it's no longer registered as, as, as even existing. So, for example, if it is, um, I cancel my belief in my thoughts, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, or God did not create uh, thoughts or my thoughts, and so they're not real. So when would you stop? Well, you'd keep doing until there's no more thoughts. Um, uh, at least there's no more thoughts that are identified as belonging to to you and there's no you left uh, so that uh, if everything is witnessed and there's no you uh, uh, having thoughts or, or even identifying with thoughts so it's totally um, trans I caught you use the word transcended until it disappears so it's like these thoughts seem to be bothering me there's a me and these are these thoughts so that's two errors Two errors uh, there. There's an idea, there's a me, and there's an idea, there's a thought. So you just simply say, God did not create these thoughts, and so they're not real, or God did not create my thoughts, and so they're not real. Uh, however it is, until the idea of thoughts totally disappears and doesn't exist, uh, and and, and uh, when they don't exist or it disappears, obviously you won't remember that you need to be doing it. <laughs> That's quite funny, isn't it? So it's gone. You don't have to cancel, you won't be cancelling anything that no longer exists to trouble you. Um, and if you um, disappear the you, then there won't be no more trouble ever. So um, so when do you stop? Well, you, you stop once it's disappeared. If you're just using that tool, you may get intuition that you want to change it around and cancel for a while and then, uh, um, and then observe for a while and then whatever it is, or do a different course lesson on it. But uh, or otherwise, you can just use it on its own until it disappears so the idea is um yeah so what is it like i cancel my belief in thoughts well uh it's an invocation you could say it's an invocation of the infinite silence to to no longer to cancel to no longer identify with thoughts because that's the truth it uh, the infinite doesn't identify with limitation uh and and then state the truth you're an infinite being you're beyond all separation you're beyond the suffering of anything that's limited uh, in this transitory world so uh, that's a statement of truth and eventually it starts to wash out you know the uh, you could say the um the illusion the dream that there was a you uh suffering thoughts so that that's that's how it's used so it's it it stop you'll know when to stop because it won't be an issue you will even forget that you had the problem so it'll just automatically stop